Guys, this is Lord Shale speaking on behalf of our show sponsor, Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on a Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lords and ladies. They allow you to buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land so you can officially call yourself a lord or a lady. Established Titles is not just about your ego. You also get to do some good. In addition to your new fancy title, Established Title supports global charities like One Tree Planet and Trees for the Future to help with the afforestation effort. Your title pack gets you at least one square foot of dedicated land in a private estate in Scotland. Your certificate features a unique plot number where you can see the exact location of your land. And right now, Established Titles is holding 200 plots of land right next to mine. So come join me in the Bad Guy Inc. Kingdom. Getting this certificate even allows you to officially change your name to Lord or Lady. Put it on your credit card, put it on your plane tickets, or if you're so inclined, put it on your dating profile. Makes for a great last minute gift. And there's even couples packs that come with adjoining plots of land. Established Titles is having a great limited time sale. Go to establishedtitles.com slash chale to save 10% off today. Remember to use the promo code CHAIL or just click on the link below. Michael Chandler, Dustin Poirier. Guys, what do you want to do? I mean, you tell me. These two are going to go strap it up. These two are going to go fight. These two were number one contenders in the last calendar year. These two, through different organizations, have both held world titles. I mean, you want to talk about a co-promote? I've heard about co-promotes for years. This is as close as you're going to get. The UFC champion is going to fight the Bellator champion. You do what you want with that, but I, I would like you to tell me ahead of time, in all fairness, I have seen over my illustrious time in this sport as a fan, Dana White make number one contenders matches. I've seen him just do that. But boy, they're rare. You guys generally make them. You guys generally call for them. Hey, why isn't this a number one contenders match? Hey, is this a number one contenders match? Hey, this should be the number one contenders match. You guys start it, and then that gets responded to with a yay or an A. That is generally how it's done. And it very much appears, and I don't have a problem with it. Look, 155 pounds, this is iron on top of iron. I don't know that we have a bad name. You can put the top 10 guys on the door uh, or and throw a dart. I, I think that we would all go, okay. It appears to me, because of Volkanovsky, stepping up, having the face-off, having the agreement, and apparently even having a date set, it appears to me that we've taken our eye off the ball of number one contender. Now, if we've done that rightfully so, see, I like the backup guy. I don't think there's any opportunity more in this sport than being ready for something that's not supposed to be yours. To be ready to step in. I don't think there's any opportunity. If I was a manager, if I'm managing, boy, that's what we're getting ready for. That sounds like you're winning the lottery. Boy, that lottery comes up a lot. I mean, it really does. I think that's the spot. Now, I bring that up because I know Chandler wants the title and nothing else. When I talk to Michael, Ch I can't hear anything. I can't hear about Dustin Poirier. I can't get the questions answered that I called to at all he can talk about his title. However, with Chandler, I've got to defend him on this, guys. He's willing to do whatever it takes to get him there. Islam Makhlchev was not the champion until a week ago. Islam Makhlchev was floating around the division with a beautiful ranking next to his name, and Michael Chandler tried to get that match because he thought that's the one that would get him to the title. So now we've tested a guy's sincerity. We've already seen what his skills are. You bring him to the media mecca of the world and you put him in there opposite Dustin Poirier. I, I really think that should be looked at. Now, I, feel free to push back, guys. Feel free to remind me about a young man named Benny Darouche. But we're either right or we're wrong. We're either right that there's no number one contender because because Volkanovski's the number one contender, and we've got a period of time. I think that takes us through like March of next year, right? It takes a period of time. So now you're talking about a return, realistically, of June and maybe even July. You've got some time. But, but if we're right about that, then we're going to have to get somebody in there to be the next number one contender. And what we generally do is we'll put them on the same card. So is this a situation 
where the winner of Chandler Poirier draws in to Benny. And I don't know that we have to work that out ahead of time. I personally, as a fan, like to know what's this about. I, I do, but it's a treat. We don't get that very often. We saw several fights over the weekend. They didn't lead to something. I mean, we, we, we saw Jake Paul and Anderson Silva fight, but we don't know who's going to be next, and we don't know what it's going to be for. I personally just like that. But I like a number one contenders match, but I can back up from there. I like a straight up this guy draws in. Dana did that on the Pat McAfee show. He comes out and he says, right before Shemayev is going to fight Gilbert Burns, he says the winner of this fight is going to draw into an ABC main event opposite Covington. I like that. That's a treat for me. I like to know what this is about, but I also liked it as a competitor. If I'm the competitor and I've already advanced through, I kind of get to sit back just one night, but I get to watch these two guys. And I think maybe that is a realistic scenario. I think maybe I just hit it on the head. Now, those guys can have different opinions, and those guys go, no, hey, to hell with that. I'm, I'm putting everything on being the backup fighter. I just watched it work out for Volkanovsky. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to do it. We would have to listen, but I'm sharing, guys, just to remind you, you're the ones that start this. Please don't mistake that. There's a few times through history where Dana's got this is a number one contender's fight. Oh, gee, oh, oh, it is? Oh, yeah, 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 that looks like it should be. Those guys are pretty good. That's really not the way it goes. It's a coveted division. What are these guys fighting about? I mean, this has turned into one of the most personal grudges. And you do remember what it's about, don't you? You remember that Michael Chandler grabbed the microphone and burnt the house down, right? Mm. Say some things into a mic, you're going to have to answer for him. You're going to piss some guys off. Oh, wait, should I mention for him? He didn't say anything about Dustin Poirier. That's what the problem is. Do you guys remember this? This has turned into one of the most personal grudges to where they're doing media now and they're having to do it from separate locations because they're getting mad. It's the first time Dustin Poirier has ever been mad. And Dustin, he's starting to upset Chandler. Within the next two weeks, I mean, this thing's going to get weird. That's a hard fight. you got a world champion versus a world champion. You want to put former in front of it? Go right ahead. The former world champion versus the former world champion. Two different organizations. Man, this is a big fight. What are they fighting for? That's up to you. I'm making a suggestion for you. I don't believe we can reasonably number one contender this match. I don't, because I think you got Benny sitting there. But I don't think Benny can go next as long as the chips fall where they're supposed to fall. Because that appears to be Volkanovski. So am I right? Am I right that Darush is sitting there and he's ready? And his opponent is coming out. And it's either going to be Chandler or it's going to be Poirier. 